In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve some basic problems dealing with organ pipes. Pipes that are open at both ends and the one that's closed or open at just one end. So in this problem, we have an organ pipe that is 0.85 meters long and it's open at both ends. What is the fundamental frequency at a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius? Well, the first thing we need to do is calculate the velocity. We can approximate the velocity using this equation. It's 331 meters per second plus 0.6 times t, where t is in Celsius. So it's 331 plus 0.6 times 15 degrees Celsius. So at this temperature, the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second. So now let's calculate the fundamental frequency. To find it, it's NV over 2L for this type of pipe. So we're looking for the fundamental frequency. So N is 1. The speed is 340. And the length of the pipe is 0.85 meters. So it's 340 divided by, let's see, 2 times 0.85, that's 1.7. So the fundamental frequency in this problem is 200 hertz. So now that we have that, we can calculate the frequency of the fourth harmonic. So that's F4, which is simply 4 times F1. So it's 4 times the fundamental frequency. And 4 times 200 is 800 hertz. So that's the answer to part B. Now, part C, what is the frequency of the fifth overtone? So how can we find that answer? Now, you need to know that the first overtone, I'm going to use OT for overtone, represents the second harmonic, or F2. The second overtone corresponds to the third harmonic. And so the fifth overtone corresponds to the sixth harmonic. So we're looking for the frequency of the sixth harmonic. So that's going to be F6, which is six times the fundamental frequency, or six times 200, which is 1,200. So that's the frequency of the fifth overtone. Now let's move on to part D. What is the wavelength of the second overtone? The second overtone corresponds to the third harmonic. And to calculate the wavelength, we could use this equation. It's 2L divided by M. So N in this example is 3, because we're dealing with the second overtone or the third harmonic. So this is going to be 2 times the length of the pipe, which is 0.85 meters, divided by N, which is 3. So 2 times 0.85, that's 1.7, divided by 3. So the wavelength for the third harmonic is 0.567 meters. Now there's another way in which you can get the same answer. Now keep in mind that the speed is the wavelength times the frequency. So if we want to find the wavelength of the third harmonic, it's going to be the speed divided by the frequency of the third harmonic. So the speed at 15 degrees Celsius is 340 meters per second. And the frequency of the third harmonic, it's going to be 3 times the fundamental frequency, or 3 times 200, which is 600 hertz. So we need to put that here. So 340 divided by 600 will give us the same answer of 0.567 meters. So now you have two ways in which you can calculate the wavelength of a certain harmonic. Number two, a closed organ pipe is 0.5 meters long. What is the fundamental frequency of this pipe at 15 degrees Celsius? So in a closed pipe, it's only closed at one end. An open pipe is open at both ends. So this closed pipe is 0.5 meters long. And the formula that we need to calculate the fundamental frequency is this equation. It's NV divided by 4L. For an open pipe, it was NV over 2L. So note the difference. 
Now at 15 degrees Celsius, we know that the speed is going to be 340 meters per second. So the fundamental frequency occurs when n is 1. So it's going to be 1 times 340 divided by 4L, where L is 0 0.5. So half of 4 is 2, so this is 340 divided by 2, which is 170 hertz. So that's the fundamental frequency in part A. Now what about part B? What is the frequency of the third overtone? Now the third overtone is not the fourth harmonic. So the answer is not 170 times 4. It's not 680 hertz. Now for the closed pipe compared to the open pipe, the numbers are different. For the open pipe, n could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. For the closed pipe, n can only be odd numbers. So for the open pipe, the second, the first overtone corresponds to n equals 2, or the second harmonic. The second overtone corresponds to the third harmonic, and the third overtone corresponds to the fourth harmonic. The situation is different for a closed pipe. The first overtone, that's the first frequency above the fundamental frequency, that's the third harmonic. The second overtone is the fifth harmonic, and the third overtone is the seventh harmonic. So in this case, n is 7 for part b. We're looking for the frequency of the seventh harmonic. The frequency of the seventh harmonic is seven times the fundamental. So that's going to be seven times 170. Which is 1190 hertz. And so that's it for part B. Now part C, what is the wavelength of the second overtone? We said the first overtone corresponds to n equals three. n equals five is the second overtone. So we need to find the wavelength of the fifth harmonic, where n is 5. So the formula to calculate the wavelength is this equation. It's equal to 4L divided by n. So L is 0.5 in this example, and n is 5. We're dealing with the fifth harmonic, or the second overtone. So 4 times 0.5 divided by 5 will give us a wavelength of 0.4 meters. Now let's confirm it with the other equation. So we know that V is equal to lambda times frequency. So the fifth, the wavelength of the fifth harmonic is the speed times the frequency of the fifth harmonic. So let's calculate the frequency of the fifth harmonic first. So that's going to be F5 which is 5 times 170. And so that's 850 hertz. So the wavelength is going to be the speed at 15 degrees Celsius, which is 340 meters per second, times the frequency of 850 hertz. And that will give you the same answer of 0.4 meters. So that's the wavelength of the fifth harmonic, or the second overtone. So here's the last problem. An organ pipe can produce two successive harmonics at 750 hertz and 1050 hertz. What is the fundamental frequency? In order to find it, we need to take the difference of these two values, because it can help us to calculate the other harmonics. So 1050 minus 750 is 300 hertz. So if you take 1050 and subtract it by 300, you get 750. If you take 750 subtracted by 300, you get the next harmonic, that's 450. And if you take 450 subtracted by 300, it's 150. If you take 150 subtracted by 300, you're going to get a negative number, which means this is the lowest frequency, so that has to be the fundamental. Now, this is how we can tell if it's an open or closed pipe. If it's open, 
then n could be any number, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. If it's closed, n can only be odd numbers, 1, 3, 5. Well, the second harmonic would be 2 times 150, which is 300. We don't have a value for 300, so this cannot be an open pipe. So what we have is a closed pipe. The third harmonic, 3 times 150, that will give us 450. The fifth harmonic, 5 times 150, will give us 750. And the seventh harmonic, which is 7 times 150, will give us 1050. So that's how we know for sure that we have a closed pipe as opposed to an open pipe. Now let's move on to part C. What is the length of the pipe? So let's start with this equation. The frequency is nv over 4l for a closed pipe. So let's cross multiply. This is going to be nv, and that's equal to the frequency times 4l. So l is going to be nv divided by 4 times the frequency. So let's use the fundamental frequency where n is 1. So v, let's use 340 meters per second. I didn't specify the temperature, but you can adjust the speed accordingly for different problems. So we'll stick to the same speed that we've been using. And the fundamental, we see that it's 150. So it's going to be 340 divided by 4 times 150, which is basically 600. And so the length of this pipe is 0.567 meters. And so that's it for this problem.